Thank you for putting it on the floor. Hey sweeties, it's Didi. Welcome back to the dollhouse and welcome to another sewing vlog. So today I'm, really? really? My sister's dancing. Uh, oh, they can see you, Kinsey. They can see you in the mirror. <laughs> yes, perfect. Um, so I'm still in, I'm in Arizona. I'm still at my parents' house. Um, we're gonna be here for at least another week because Majesty has a doctor's appointment next week. So in the meantime, I'm going to finish um, the outfit for Riley, the thing I've been working on, and I will put some I will put some clips of me working on that in. Um, I'm also going to do up my mom's, the curtains for her kitchen. I'm going to sew up her curtains. Um, the reason I haven't gotten anything done up until this point is because I was waiting for the sewing machine cable to come. I didn't bring my sewing machine cable with me from North Carolina. I had to order one from Amazon and the one I ordered from Amazon doesn't quite fit. So I've got it like jerry-rigged to work. But yeah, so I'm going to finish Riley's skirt I'm gonna do my mom's curtains. Um, at some point I'm gonna take a break to film a planner video, but I'm hoping I can get a couple of things sewn today. Majesty's down for a nap, and yeah, I wanna knock some stuff out. So, I'll check in later. Hey, hey. hey sweeties, it's Dee Dee. Um, another day of the sewing vlog. Uh, so these vlogs are supposed to be like everything I sew for the week like starting from Friday, but it's already Tuesday and I have sewn nothing. So I thought I would show you guys my most recent patterns that I picked up from Joann's during their last pattern sale in May. Like when all the butter and simplicity patterns were $1.99. So I have my summer Joann's bag here. And let's flip through some patterns right here. I got a good leaf. I got a little good little stack of patterns that I picked up during the last Joann's pattern sale when the butter and simplicity, like I said, were $1.99. So let's look for them. First is Simplicity 8743. It is described as Mrs. Pleated Skirt in four lengths. So it's got ooh, it's got all of them. So like between like traditional skirt length all the way to like maxi. The fabric suggestions are brocade, cotton types, lightweight denim, sateen, satin, silky types, taffeta, 
and I don't have a pattern in mind for this, but or a fabric in mind for this, but I really liked that pattern. Next is Simplicity R10431. It's another skirt pattern. It is described as a Mrs. Wrap back wrap skirt in three lengths with pocket variations. So you can get it with the ruffle, without the ruffle, and then a little shorter. And it's got, it ties in the back and it also has like front patch pockets that can be straight across like a little tulip or that front pocket like a hoodie where you can put both hands in. Then I got Simplicity S8882, which is a Gertie pattern. And it is, hey baby, Majesty's here. It is described as Mrs. Top. Oh, I didn't say. The fabrics for this one are batiks, chambres, cotton types, lightweight denims, den linen types, poplins. And then A and B can also be in silkies. And then for 8882, it calls for broadcloth, chalet, chambre, cotton types, gingham, poplin, and sateen, and any kind of shirt. <laughs> Next is Simplicity 8947. This is for Mrs. Knit sweatshirt mini dress. And I think it's adorable. It's like an oversized sweater dress. Um, it's got like the front pockets. You can have a drawstring with a hood. It's super cute. And I do have fabric for this one. Obviously this needs to be in a knit. It calls for double knit, fleece, sweatshirt fleece or a terry knit suitable for overlocking. I do not have an overlocker or a serger, but I already have the fabric I want to use for that. So that should be coming up here soon. Next is Simplicity 8383, which is a Mrs. Knit trapeze dress with neckline and sleeve variations. Oh, I think this is so cute. I think this is so cute. It calls for stretch knits. Double knits, jersey, spandex blends, stretch velvet, and two-way stretch is appropriate. And you can overlock and serge, but again, no overlocker and serger. I think I know what fabric I want to make this out of, but I don't own it yet. Next is a Cynthia Raleigh pattern. This is Simplicity 8636. It is a Mrs. Dress or Top. Um, the fabrics are lightweight to medium weight fabrics with drapes such as chambray, cotton lawn, crepe de chine, gauze, Lightweight linen types, lightweight sateen, silky types, and voile. And I know exactly what I'm doing this. I have the fabric, I have the buttons, I have every, I think I'm gonna alter it a little bit to do what I wanna do. It's a pin that I have on my main Pinterest, on my main Pinterest, um, in my wardrobe board. I'll put it up, but yeah, I can't wait to get started on that. Next is Simplicity 8691, which is a So Chic pattern. It's just Mrs. Dress. It calls for broadcloth, brocade, chintz, cotton types, crepe, dupioni, fail, linen types, peak, sateen, chatung, and taffeta. I mean, I love the sleeves. I think I would lengthen them, but yeah, super cute. Next is another So Chic pattern from Simplicity 8439. This one is a dress with bodice variation. Oh, it can, you have, so the pleating can go this way or this way. It's super cute though. I don't have any fabric for this, but oh, isn't it pretty? Stable, lightweight to medium weight fabric such as chintz, cotton types, dupioni, fail, linen types, peak, sateen, satin, chatung, and taffeta. Sorry, if you see me playing with my hand, if you saw my last time with me, you know I recently got engaged and I am not used to wearing a ring yet. My ring's a little too small also, so like I fidget with it constantly. So please don't let it distract you. Next is Simplicity 8051. This is another dress pattern that I do not have ugh, any plans for, but it's got this super cute um, sweetheart option and crisscross criss straps that I thought was cute. It calls for chintz, cotton types, crepe, back satin, dupioni, Chatung, eyelids, fails, gingham, lightweight denim, linen types, peak, sateen, satin, or taffeta. So anything. And then I got three Mimi G patterns that I didn't, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn about them, some of them. So first is this 8749, which is like a suit. 
It comes with a coat in two lengths, so you can do the long coat or the short coat, and then these pants. And it calls for gabardine, ponte, stretch wovens, wool types for, um, and then the jacket can also be made in tweed. Now here's the thing, I don't wear pants often, and these look like rather fitted, like trousers, I don't know. I mean they're cute, but I just don't, I'm torn. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Next is Simplicity 8927. Hello. Hi. He's having a whole conversation with me. Simplicity 8927, which is a tie front top and a skirt in two lengths. I think I would wear the longer length. But I don't know. I like how fitted the shorter one is. But I think I would be more comfortable in the longer one. I don't know. I'd have to see. But this one calls for chambres, cotton types, lightweight denims and linen types and shirtings and then the top can also be in silky types and the bottom can be in lengthwise striped fabrics and the thing that makes me nervous is like the midriff out situation like her tummy is out and i just don't know if i'm comfortable with my mother of two tummy being out but mimi g does a lot of these um like midriff exposing things. And I I mean, I've made a cropped shirt. I don't think, I'm still not 100% comfortable wearing it. I made a cropped shirt last month. Um, I will show you, probably show you my makes from May later in the week. But I mean, it's cute. I'm just, I'm very self-conscious about my body. Like I said, mom of two, I haven't gotten my body back exactly to where I want it. So I am quite self-conscious about it. Anyway. Um, so the next one is Simplicity S9114, which is another Mimi G pattern. It is a t dress, top, and pants. It's been like a trend lately to have like these long open dresses, like these long dresses and then leaving them open and having the outfit underneath. I think that's really cool. The top is cropped. It's like a little shell, which is cute. Um, so for the dress, it calls for burnouts double georgettes, organzas, and shears. I mean, that's cute. Or you could just make it a shirt dress and do it in regular shirt dress fabric. That's also an option. Um, for the little cropped shell, it's called for linens, poplins, and sateens. Um, and it can also be in sateens or silky types. And then for the pants, it's called for linens, poplins, and sateens. So that's cute. I got a little pattern for something for my boys as well because you know I was there this is um, a CN sew pattern it's B6403 it was not on sale but I mean these are always like $2.99 at Joann's anyway so I got this one it's got a top shorts and pants just so I can start practicing making little matching outfits for them uh, I have sweater fabric for them I do not have any fabric to make this so maybe I will, cause like kids clothes for the largest size, you only need at most a yard and five eighths for the pants, like in the largest size. Like kids clothes do not eat much fabric and I feel like this would be more of like instant gratification projects. Like I can knock out some stuff for the boys when I just need to make something. And then another kid pattern I got is Simplicity R10439 which is a children's and teen boys classic relaxed fit and slim fit shirt. So it comes with three different shirt options. They're um, like a little different, like whether or not they have darts in the back, that kind of stuff. The way the collars are, the way the... <coughs> you can hear the baby. I'm sure you can hear the baby. The boys are having a conversation. But again, at most, like the largest size, which is a size 16, which is like a teen size, takes one and seven eighths yards so like these will be super quick dude trying to film a video here dude <laughs> come on come on down come on you can do it you can do good job you made it you going to get brother Okay, safe choices. Oh, nope, you're coming this way. Come on.
you for putting it on the floor. You stop. Yeah. You stop. Yeah. Hi, Master. Hello. Okay, I've distracted my children with TV, so I have like five minutes maybe to get this done. But I only have two patterns left. This one is for Mister. This is Butterick B6748. My dude really loves tunics, so I'm gonna make him some more tunics. And also, um, I don't know, these pants will be comfortable. So we're gonna try it. The problem, so this is a Mrs. and Men's tunic, caftan, pants, hat, and head wrap set. The only problem with this is that what I want to make it in are those um, African prints, the African cotton prints that they sell at Joann's that are like $23 a yard. And it calls for, the smallest size of this calls for what, three yards for the, the tunic with the front pockets, the smallest size tunic with front pockets. Yeah, four yards for the caftan, another two and a half, two and five eighths yards for the pants. So to make the entire outfit, it would be like nine yards of fabric at $23 a yard. So it's just really expensive. And I can't justify that purchase yet, but I really do want to do some of these um, tunics and probably some head wraps for myself. Selfish sewing. Okay, and last but not least, don't judge me. You and we here, don't judge me. Butterick 6741, which is Mrs. Hats with ribbon flowers and bows. Um, look, guys, I grew up Baptist, okay? I grew up, I very, very, my mother would love these and I want them and I could make them to match all my outfits. All my pretty like 50s dresses could have super pretty over the top church lady hats. And I just think, I just think that B is everything. Look at how wide brim B is. It's just, oh, it's just the perfect hat. And I want it, and I think I deserve it, especially if I make it myself. So it calls for linen, poplin, silk, gabardine. Lining should be cotton, cotton blends or lining fabrics, and then obviously buckram for interfacing. I'm not gonna lie, this is the one I'm most excited about. I just wanna make some hats to match my outfits. But um, yeah, that is my most recent pattern haul. I think there are patterns on sale right now at Joann's, so I think once I get my allowance, I am going to go buy more patterns, because why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super excited to cut some of these out. I really, I'm most, the most immediate thing that I have on my list is the sweaters, because I already have the fabric for them, and I have the fabric here with me in Arizona. So this is probably gonna be, after I finish that cropped t-shirt, this will be the next thing on my list. But yeah, um, <laughs> I was gonna like do my whole sign off with like the, until next time you stay cute, but uh, there will be more sewing vlog from this week because it's only Tuesday. So I'm gonna put these away and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Hey sweeties, it's Dee Dee. Welcome back to the dollhouse. Uh, today is Thursday and I really want these sewing vlogs to go up on Friday. Unfortunately, I haven't sewn anything like at all this week or yeah this week I have some nothing I know I came on the other day and I was like I have all these things I'm gonna work on and I have to get done but I haven't done them and they are not done so instead I thought I would show you the things that I sewed last month in May um, I only finished two projects I finished a little t-shirt and I finished a um, little 
like sweater dress thing. Well, it's supposed to be a dress, but I definitely made it shorter. Um, it's actually the same pattern, but in a different fabric that I got from Joann's. So I will show you those now. Okay, so first is this one, which is Butterick 6494, I think. Um, it's a sweater dress. I will read you all the pertinence. I made it out of this Doodles fabric from Joann's. It's got black hearts and then black and gold glittery hearts. Um, not much to say about it. It is um, like a stretch knit fabric. I sewed it on my regular sewing machine with a straight stitch. Um, I used French seams. This that I'm wearing is also the same pattern and for this one I did straight seams but I felt I felt the seams by hand and I realized that most of these seams don't actually aren't actually on the stretchy you know like don't actually need to be um, protected from snapping like they're not they're not gonna stretch out of place so I decided on the second one because this took forever to do all the hand sewing so I decided for this one I could just do a um, I could just do French seams, which are my preferred seam finish because I think they are nice and clean and wonderful. And I do have intentions to make this again, maybe a little longer because right now it's like like long shirt length. Like it's long enough to wear leggings under, but it's not a dress. But I can get it out of like less than two yards of fabric at the length that I have it. And the pattern calls for more than two yards, but I can get it out for my size calls for more than two yards and I can get it out of less than two yards if I make it this length and then I can just wear it with leggings, like how you will see me wearing it. And it does have these pockets in the front on either side. Ooh, am I even at the pocket? Yeah, it has these pockets in the front and either side. They're not very deep, but they are cute. So that's first thing that I made in June. The second thing that I made in June, you'll have to forgive me, I don't have the pattern information for this one, but I will obviously put it somewhere on screen. But it is a cropped t-shirt. So, yeah. And it is, it's got these mm, like four length sleeves. You'll see them a little bit better when I try it on, but it is, um, yeah, it's a crop top, a cropped t-shirt. It has this crossover effect at the hem. Uh, this was my, basically my wearable muslin for this shirt because I wanted to see how long it was going to be unfortunately I also cut the one I've written because I it has it has like different styles of t-shirts at least two I could think yeah it has two different styles of t-shirts one with the crossover and one with a straight hem the straight hem is the one that I want the one that I want the crisscross hem is the one that I was doing my wearable muslin for and unfortunately I cut the fabric for like my good one without having tried on the wearable muslin. So it's a little shorter than I want it to be. It's more cropped than I want it to be. There's more midriff showing than I am comfortable with right now. I've had two kids, my body is not where I want it to be. But that being said, it's cute. I learned some things. This was also sewn, this is a stretch knit fabric sewn on my this fabric is also from joann's i will leave a link to both of the fabrics the fabric for well all three fabrics the fabric for the two tunics and this shirt in the description but this was also sewn on my regular sewing machine with a straight stitch uh, and i tried doing a zigzag stitch on the hem and the armholes and it gave me like that lettucing effect 
that would not press out. So it's lettucey on the hem, it's lettucey on the sleeves, and so then on the neck, on the collar, I didn't do the I didn't do the zigzag stitch because I didn't want it to be lettucey. However, my stitching is not very clean on the collar, so it still sits up a little bit from my neckline. It doesn't like sit flush on my neck, so I will have to redo this in white. I ordered I ordered some pink fabric from Joann's to make this shirt again, but I will have to redo it in white because it's not not quite right. I do I need to add probably an inch and a half. This is not an inch and a half, obviously, but I need to add some length to the bottom because, like I said, I'm not comfortable with how much midriff is visible. It's just, like I said, my body is not where I want it to be yet for that much belly to be out. That being said, it was cool to make things again. Like, I haven't made anything in a long time, so it was fun to just be making things. Oh, also, I'm going to um, reduce the length of these sleeves when I make this again. But yeah, those are the two things that I made last month. Um, <laughs> Mom's making faces at me, please excuse. Those are the two things I made last month. And yeah, so it was cool to be sewing again, getting back into my groove, and hopefully I will get to finally making some things this month. But I think that's gonna be it for this sewing vlog. I don't think I'm gonna get too much more done before I upload, so. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me. Ring the notification bell so you never miss an upload on this channel. And as always, you stay cute. Bye guys.